Right, and lastly for this lesson, uh, it says a ball is dropped from a height of one meter above the ground. Each time it hits the ground, it's reduced by three quarters. Uh, find the distance travelled between the first and second bounces. Right then, so let's have a think of the, about this. So if you imagine, here's the ground. So the first bounce, I drop it, it's one metre. That's my first bounce. Then my second bounce, it comes back up three quarters of high and drops back down three quarters of a high. So it's actually gone up by 0.75 and come down by 0.75. So the distance travelled between the first and second bounces, so that was the first bounce and that's the second bounce, is actually the, um, it's actually these two together, it's 1.5 metres. So that's kind of like, it's a little bit counterintuitive really, but that's what we're after. Uh, because it bounced the first time, boing, then it went up 75 centimetres, come down 75 centimetres to the second bounce, boing. So then it says find the distance travelled by the ball between the third, uh, sorry, find the total distance travelled after it drops. So eventually it's just going to drop down, isn't it? So it gets down and it's sat there. So what I'm going to do is, I've got that one from the initial bounce, but I'm going to think about this bit on its own. So the total distance is the initial one metre plus the rest of it. And the rest of it is a sum to infinity. So uh, A is 1.5. Oops, do that. And R is 0 0.75 there. And if I do that, should give me 7 metres out, but you've got to get your head around that. This is the bit when my sum to infinity happens, oops, because it's an up and down, up and down, up and down. But then I've got the one at the front to start off with it, so that's quite a messy one. Whew. Right, so, oh yeah, further years, so this is this idea we were talking about before, where like from the 10th to the 100th is the, is the 100, so like the sum of the first 100 and then minus the sum of the first 9 that you don't want. So this one would be, from 12 to 93, would be the sum of the first 93 terms minus the sum of the first 11 terms because I want from the 12th to the 93rd. Uh, just ignore what it says on here because I'm not really fussed about the math behind it. I just want you to realise that from 5 to 12, it's the sum of the 12 terms minus the sum of the first 4 terms, because you're starting at 5. Oh. And that was well done, everybody.